Bro, I'm not even going to edit this video. That's how quick and easy it is to make this vocal preset. But anyway, so as you can see from the title of the video, we're going to learn how to make uh, a Summers type vocal preset. But if you want to skip the tutorial uh, completely and just, just cop the preset, you can go first link in the description to my website, avadorubi.com, and you can download the vocal preset real quick and easy. Uh, you can do it with PayPal or with your credit or debit card. It doesn't matter. But yeah, anyway, first link in the description. Uh, but anyway, back to the tutorial, if you want to just like do the tutorial. So as you can see, there's not that much that we got to go through, in my opinion. And we have like a little bonus thing for the ad libs, which comes included in the vocal preset, in the, in the preset, in the link of the description. But anyway, Fruity Limiter is the first thing that we're going to talk about. And this first Fruity Limiter is more than anything just for a noise gate. So sometimes a lot of you, you might have like those kind of shitty microphones. You got like the, the background noise. Uh, the, 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 the little white noise that you want to remove. So uh, anytime that you're not talking, uh, depending on how high you crank the threshold, uh, for as high as you crank it, uh, that's how much you're going to remove when you turn down the gain. So I don't have it that, that much, only negative uh, 34.7 decibels, as you can see on the top left. And I have the release at like 91 milliseconds, so it isn't that choppy. Uh, do keep in mind that if you talk really quietly, it will sound choppy if you have the noise gate on. But anyway, so that's the first part. Next part is the pitcher. Um, you can you, you can do this in any auto tune, right? Like you can do Auto Tune Pro for for the purposes of the uh, vocal preset that you can download. Uh, in order to make it the, the easiest possible, I just have the stock plugin pitcher, which works relatively well. Obviously, Auto Tune Pro is better, but regardless, so all you really have to do in this case is just get the the speed to like in between medium and fast. Um, relative to Autotune Pro, that would be like a retune speed of, of 20 or something like that. Uh, and then obviously have the, the key of the song. Uh, I just took this random beat that we're going to like freestyle on top of later on. Oh, wait, it's, it's turned on. Okay. Did it. <laughs> So we're going to use that later. But anyway, um, so the next part is now the compressor. And again, we're using Fruity Limiter. I mentioned this in the last video, but I really like Fruity Limiter more than anything because of how visual it is. Like, as you can see, um, you have like the audio waves uh, popping up over here and you can see like how much you remove depending on like uh, what settings you put. This might seem very drastic, right? Negative 37, uh, sorry, negative 27 with a knee of 89% and a radio of like 20. But it's really because like I want to have the vocals be as squished as possible, and like you can see that uh, with this audio, like all the purple is like what we're removing from it. And then I had it, I added some makeup game, uh, makeup gain of 3.7 decibels, um, and that's basically the compressor. So next we go on to Fruity Parametric EQ, and all I really did, I removed a bit of like the highs because I found it to be like a bit too sharp. And I did that by uh, remove it, like removing this a little bit. As you can see, like now it's a little more precise and putting it at like 4% and then dropping it down during around like the 6,000-ish hertz thing. Um, and then all I did over here was remove like the sub and the bass. And I did that by going right click, type. Uh, high pass and then order steep eight, steep six, depending on how steep you want it, uh, the higher the number, the steeper it is. And removing basically everything under like 171 hertz, uh, like a little bit of the gain of the base, uh, we just completely remove. So that's that. The next part is the sound goodizer. And this is just to give it that like radio, like really crispy sound to it. Uh, you can notice over here, like I don't even have any reverb. Uh, Summers, as far as I'm concerned, just doesn't use that much reverb in a lot of his songs. Uh, but anyway, that's like another part that we'll mention. But uh, as you can see, I have mode D and just a little under 25% uh, I added. And as you can see, we're going to just like do a little example. Uh, one, two, three. As, as you can, can see, see like, like, it's, it's very, very... Oh, wait, oh wait, I got to turn, turn off the... the... Sorry, 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 sorry. Yeah. So as you can see, it's very like radio friendly, just a lot of highs, barely any uh, lows. And uh, and yeah, that, that's all in part to like the sound of it has. Um, so we're going to go over here. And so, yeah, we're going to return to that. And the next part that I want to talk about is uh, I added a bit of Flangus 
in order to, I don't know, I like for whatever reason, it just sort of made sense with Summers and it sounded appropriate with his uh, his style. So um, it's kind of, it's, it's, it's in a similar vein to like a phaser or, or a flanger. Uh, and I only added like 50%, uh, just the default settings. Um, and like you can see the difference right here real quick. Uh, so we go over here, no flangus, flangus, no flangus, flangus, that sort of thing. Yeah. Um, so we're almost done. The last thing I added over here were the last two things. So I added a uh, Maximus, which is just for like the de -esser. So I went over here, preset, de -esser, split band. And um, you can just toggle with this. You can do whatever you want with it, right? And um, and then the last thing, certainly not least, the last thing is uh, Fruity Parametric EQ. Just like one more EQ. It's like uh, another version of the Vocal Presence uh, preset for mastering. But I uh, lifted up the bass because I felt like it sounded too thin. Um, and that's basically it. So when, when you're done with that, you get, you get this, this sound. sound. Wait, what the fuck? Wait, wait, wait. All right. I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. Yeah. Uh, yeah, okay. This is getting cringe. My apologies. We're just gonna stop that. That was quite cringe. Uh, but as you can see, it has that sort of summer sound to it. And the last thing I really wanted to talk about is just like this last EQ. This is only for like ad libs. Uh, again, it just removes all the bass. So it gives it that like really radio sound that like that, that sort, sort of, of sound. sound. Like, like basically. Where ad libs very quiet, very in the background. So without ad libs, it sounds like this. Yeah, 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 that sort of thing. And then with ad libs, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, that sort of uh, low vibe. And yeah. Boom. Boom. Okay. okay. So we're basically done with the tutorial. Again, if you like how the preset sounds, you can cop it at alvarorubio.com, a first link in the description. Uh, make sure to check out my music as well. I, I don't do this kind of music at all. <laughs> I do like psychedelic pop, uh, which you can check out. Um, just going to like the front page of my channel. But anyway, guys, this has been a video. If this has helped you, consider subscribing, leaving a like, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.